Hey, <laughs> sorry, I hesitated. Um, welcome to reading the Bible to cats. Uh, Guster's right here. I don't know if we can hear him purring. Hold on. <laughs> And Henry's looking cute. Henny, don't hide your face. Henny. Henny. Okay, well, I guess I have to hold the camera. Okay. Um, I figured I would read a psalm and maybe we'll we'll do the the date thing for a little while so since it's june 19th 2024 we'll we'll read psalm 19 which i've read before but i love that psalm okay let's see um i'm looking it up uh-oh i hope henry doesn't leave okay Psalm 19. Oops, sorry. Okay, Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Everyone, I'm, this is the New King James Version, which is poetic. Um, I want to try the NIV though. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, let's do the NASB. Okay. Sorry that I know that King James is is poetic. Um. Hmm. Now I'm stuck on the. Tr well, let's go back to the King James Version. Let's just go back to the King James Version. Sorry, everyone. Okay, where where was that? Uh, King James Version, where are you? I'm scrolling. I'm looking on my phone. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do that one again. Okay, so here it is. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament, oh no, the, the words are archaic, like showeth, sheweth, his handiwork. Oh well, that's okay. I'll stick with this. Okay, <laughs> sorry everyone. Uh, okay, King James Version, Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. De Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech, nor language, where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is... <laughs> as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there's nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. 
Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Everyone, that was Psalm 19, King James Version. Now I'm so curious, I kind of want to read a different translation. Here's, I wonder what the modern English version is like. Let's see. Now, now I'm looking because it's such a beautiful psalm. Maybe let's try the, the Living Bible. I wonder what that is. <laughs> oh, that's really unusual. I don't, okay, here's the... Oh, this is the message. Psalm 19, the message, which is a, a unique translation. I can read that one too. Let me read that one because it's so different from the KJV version. God's glory is on tour in the skies. Godcraft on exhibit across the horizon. Madame Day holds classes every morning. Professor Knight lectures each evening. Their words aren't heard. Their voices aren't recorded. But their silence fills the earth. Unspoken truth is spoken everywhere. God makes a huge dome for the sun, a superdome. The morning sun, a new husband, leaping from his honeymoon bed. The daybreaking sun, an athlete racing to the tape. That's how God's word vaults across the skies, from sunrise to sunset. Melting ice, scorching deserts, warming hearts to faith. The revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. The signposts of God are clear and point out the right road. The life maps of God are right, showing the way to joy. The directions of God are plain as easy on the eye, and easy on the eyes. God's reputation is 24 karat gold with a lifetime guarantee. The decisions of God are accurate down to the nth degree. God's word is better than a diamond, better than a diamond set between emeralds. you like it better than strawberries in spring, better than red, ripe strawberries. There's more. God's word warns us of danger and directs us to hidden treasure. Otherwise, how will we find our way? Or know when we play the fool. Clean the slate, God, so we can start the day fresh. Keep me from stupid sins, from thinking I can take over your work. Then I can start this day sun-washed, scrubbed clean of the grime of sin. These are the words in my mouth. Oh, these are, yeah, sorry, it is I who speak and not the Bible. I goofed that verse up. Um, these are the words in my mouth. These are what I chew on and pray, accept them when I place them on the morning altar. Oh God, my altar rock, oh God, priest of my altar. Okay, everybody, that was Psalm 19 from the message translation, which you know takes a lot of liberties. It's more like a paraphrase of the psalm. Um, you know, it's kind of like he paraphrased it. But um, but it was lovely in its own right. Um, yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, just I think I, what I love is now I just want to read like a just the first part of an NIV translation. Uh, NIV, NIV. Where is the NIV? Oh. Here it is. Mm. 
Yeah, this is the NIV. Just, well, I guess I can read this one too. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. That's the Psalm 19 NIV version, and I've read it three times now. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I think I like the, my favorite part is the first couple of verses. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them, yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. Yeah, I like that because it's like just the message of God. You know, his glory is declared. The skies, the, the, the skies and the heavens declare the work of God, you know, and the glory. I love that. Without, without words, without speech, it's just you look up, you see the skies, you see the clouds, you know, during the day, and, you, and it's, you know, declaring the glory of God and the, God's handiwork. Or you, at night, you look up and you see the stars. At night, or the moon, you know, it's declaring the handiwork, the glory of God, day after day. I love that. Um, sorry, I have morning voice. <laughs> this is my morning. I don't know why I have morning voice, but I do. It's, um, by the way, I wanted to thank you all for um, praying for me so much. I really, really appreciate it. I got a clean bill of health from that report, at least from that report. Um, yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Um, so I, I really appreciate the prayers. I was so relieved. It was kind of scary, the test itself, but, you know, because I'm like, uh oh, something's going on here. But, um, but yay, it's nothing to worry about. So again, thank you so much for your prayers. And I'll say a little prayer now. Lord, thank you for your word and this beautiful psalm and your creation, Lord, and even the heavens, which declare your glory and proclaim the work of your hands. And day after day, 
they pour forth speech, and night after night they reveal knowledge, yet they have no speech and they use no words, but just a message from you in the very skies and in the very heavens that um, we can know something of your character when we look at your creation. We can know a lot about your character. You know, even when we look at, at the heavens or the skies or even when we look at your creation, like this kitty here, we can see something of your heart and your character, even, even in Henry, especially in Henry and Guster, and in one another as well. Thank you, Lord, for, for the good news um, with that medical report that I had. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the prayers of your people. And I pray for everyone who's watching or listening that they would find, and this goes for me too today, that we would find inspiration somehow um, in what you've created for us, really, and for yourself, for your own pleasure. You created, you know, because you're an artist. But help us to you know, really take a look at your creation and and find you and 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 be inspired because of of your handiwork. And um, I I just lift up this prayer. I pray for the peace of Israel and for the peace of Jerusalem and for any remaining hostages, Lord, that. You would give them maybe visions and dreams of, of, you know, the Messiah, of Jesus, of who you are. And that you would speak to them through even your heavens or, um, you know, that you would just reveal yourself to them and, and rescue them, Lord, spiritually and otherwise. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. I think I better get a cup of coffee because I sound so groggy. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get out and enjoy the day, too. Because um, I don't have to work today. <laughs> it's Juneteenth. Um we have that off as a holiday. Happy Juneteenth. All right, everybody.